Hi guys, Emily from Must Up Free Girl here, back with another grocery haul video. My pantry challenge is over. I have a very bare fridge. I'm not doing a big shop yet, but I did have to grab some bread while I was out and I saw a couple of deals, picked up a couple of things with the shortages. I didn't want to risk not being able to get everything that I need to do back to school stuff. Uh, when I do my groceries on the weekend or even next week and I need to find time to do that so I grab some of the stuff I need to do that and I'm probably going to record that tomorrow so stay tuned for that I'll have lots of yummy things I'll show you that soon so yeah don't forget if you like this kind of content to like comment subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one bye guys all right, so here it is. We have five of the Lipton Ice Teas. They are my absolute favorite, and they never go half price, but they're half price today. So these are three fifty, dollars which means I paid seventeen fifty dollars for five, but there are 20 satchels in each. They're amazing. I drink them when I'm sick because it clears all the crap out and makes me feel better. And if I ever run out of milk, they are my caffeine fix because I cannot drink tea without milk. So... Right there, live to nice teas. I got a Vegemite because we are completely out. Also, when did Vegemite get so bloody expensive? This was $8.80 for a 560 gram Vegemite. How very un-Australian. I also got three discount milks, both with a day, all with a day left. 80 cents, 80 cents, 80 cents. They are going to be in my back to school video I'm doing a pancakes rice pudding a custard and a yogurt for back to school every week before they go back so I'm going to smash all of those out I'm also going to do some fruit and jelly cups and some bacon and cheese scrolls or rolls for back to school but I'll show you those in the next video they had these coloring in Nutellas, which are really, really cheap on clearance. And Nutella doesn't really get <laughs> on clearance much anymore. So these were $6.50 for 750 grams. It's cheaper than the one kilo, so I grabbed two of those. I got two and a half kilos of honey because we go through honey like something chronic. It's in a lot of our cooking. It's in a lot of Asian food. And we also use it for breakfasts and toast and lunches. And I use it as a sweetener in things like the yogurt I'm making, stuff like that. And this worked out to be 98 cents per 100 grams for the honey. And it was $24 for the honey. So that's an investment right there. But it means I'm not paying something like $2 for 100 grams of honey for the next like maybe two months, considering how quickly we go through it. I got bread. They were still had plenty of shortages on bread. So I grabbed one of those just for some sandwiches tomorrow. Probably some Nutella sandwiches for hubby for work. Maybe the kids. I grabbed a Helga's bread because gluten-free bread was on the shelf. They only had two. Grabbed one. And then I got me a little treat. These are a Kit Kat dupe and they are delicious. And I got, they had these new ones here, but they were marked down to $2.70. So I grabbed those. I got some frozen fruit. Usually when uh, fruit goes on super special at my fruit shop, I buy a, a ton, cut it up and freeze it to use in my yogurts. But I have cleared out the <laughs> freezers pretty much now. So I grabbed these to make my yogurts for the next week or two. And they were $11.60 a kilo. So I grabbed a strawberries and a summer fruit blend, which is grapes, pineapple, mango, and strawberries. And I might even do a few smoothie ice blocks with some of the milk if I have any left over. Last but not least, bacon. Economy cooking bacon is, has gone way up. It is now nearly $10 for a kilo. It is $9.90 for a kilo of bacon. But we do use a lot of bacon, and I do make one packet of bacon stretch quite far. I needed some bacon to shred up and some cheese for the cheese and bacon bread rolls for back to school. I have some leftover bread rolls from New Year's that I'm just going to 
cover in some diced bacon and some cheese and bake until they are delicious. And then I'm gonna put them in some sandwich bags and freeze them and get them out as needed for the kids. And either they can have cheese or ham on them or just eat them as is. So that is my Woolies grocery haul for today. This all came to $111.60, but in saying that nearly a quarter of that was just the honey. And the Lipton iced tea was like another $16.50. $8 for Vegemite. You can see how it adds up pretty quick. But the Vegemite's going to last for ages. The honey's going to last for ages. The Lipton iced tea is going into the stockpile and will probably last us the next six months. And I won't have to buy it again. Also, the milk and stuff will be used up with those. Back to school things. And the bacon will go in probably five different meals. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, hit the like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.